Hello, how are you doing, sir? My name is Mark. Okay. My name is Detective Rowell. I work for the San Rosa County Sheriff's Office. Yep. I was just wondering if I could talk to you guys for a little bit about tonight and what you heard. Maybe. Yep. Yep. You want to come in? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be fine. Well, this is a very, very nice house. It's very open. Okay. You want to have a seat? Yeah. No, I just, I just. Um. get each of y'all's uh, information. Yep, it's Scott. One of y'all's phone numbers would be fine. 850? Hers is 850 if you need both of them. Yeah. Um, so, just kind of walk you through tonight um, what you heard, what you saw, and let's go for it. Let's start. So, we're sitting watching TV. Uh, well, we'll start earlier in the day. Police were here earlier this afternoon. Okay. Fourth or fifth time since we've been here in four months. In four months? In four months, the, the police have been here four times. Plus the fifth time today. Okay. No one was ever taken away or left or whatever. Um, the husband was outside. I left at 4.30-ish, okay. 4.30, 4.45, went down to Publix. He was standing at the end of his, at the end of the driveway with his younger daughter in his arms, standing outside the truck. She was crying. I came back about 30 minutes later from Publix. Okay. Still outside, still crying, and then was he crying or the daughter was crying? The daughter was crying. Okay. And is that the 12 year old daughter? No, no. Real young. Real little, young. Little, little, uh, little. The wife was at the front door sitting on the steps. He was there. Um, my wife came home about 5 5.15. Mm -hmm. um, shortly after that, another police arrived again, only this time across the street from their driveway, lights on. They were there for probably 15 minutes. They left, everybody went inside, and then uh, I guess 6.30? Yeah, something around that. Roughly around 6.30. Yeah, around, roughly between, We're yeah, around 6.30. Uh, the front door is glass, I just put that in last week, so first time we could see anything. Okay. Uh, and the lady next door, Bree, okay. daughters, they're all sitting on the front patio. Of y'all's residence. Of our, mm -hmm. yeah, right outside our front. Okay. And our residence right outside the front glass, sitting on the edge of the sidewalk. And, uh, and then I saw Colin and Colleen's son, really tall, was staying out there as well. And I said, look. I think he's the one who called 911. Yeah. I said, listen, you need to go out there and see what's going on. Um, she went out there. She said, look, you need to come out here and see, go, go, there's a situation out here. And we need put help. My, put on my shoes. Who I went said outside. we need help? I did. did. You did. I, okay. I came in. I told him. I was like. Uh, can you get your shoes on and come on out here because we need some help. Something's going on next door. Okay. So I came out. I didn't hear any of their conversation. Um, Colin and Colleen were already going in the house. I stopped halfway and said, look, I, they're already going in. Colleen, her 12, is that the 12 year olds? No. no. Colin and Colleen are, neighbors. there's two Collins. There's two. Colin here. Okay. Okay. And okay. The that, neighbors, that was the confusion. Right. Colin okay. and Colleen, um, they're two the houses. two that went into the residence and found them dead. Gotcha. So I didn't go in, I didn't hear anything. They just came out and said, look, don't go in there. He's dead, Three, he's been shot, he's on the garage floor where he's blue and he's turning blood. But, but I, I didn't have any conversation with the wife or the kids or anything else. I don't, that's all her. Yeah, so when I went out, they were all on the front patio. Ours right here. Yeah, this one out here. And the 12-year-old the daughter, I didn't wait and I thought she was 12. Um, she was she was crying hysterically. And um, I swear she said, 
and I could be wrong, but she said that her stepmom shot her dad three times. Okay. And I was still trying to wrap my brain around what she said because I was trying to hold her to get her to stop crying and she was shaking. And when I, I looked at Bree, she told me to please make sure that her kids were okay and that um, she had she shot him three times. Did she say why? No. Okay. She just said, make sure my kids are okay. I shot, I shot him three times. Yeah. Um, and she was like, he's dead. He's dead. And she was, you could tell that she was very much in shock. She was sure. very, very pale. Um, and then the neighbor came across, um, Christina from the White House here. Okay. She came across and gave her the kids and then that's when it was like, we need help. And that's when I went and got him to come and help. And Colin and Colleen from down here were walking across to, because they had seen their son and he had said that somebody had gotten shot. Okay. So Colin and Colleen are actually the ones that went inside the residence. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And, and they live right next door. Or uh, they live on the other with the truck. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, truck, yeah. So they went in there and they actually found him dead. Um, you got involved and then you told him, hey, you need your help from here, okay. Yeah, I didn't hear any conversation except that she And we didn't even hear any her. shots. <clears throat> okay. So. Well, there's always noise here between the construction, Yeah. Uh, loud banging, and then. Well, with the, you know, with the base, you're always getting the that noise, you know, mm -hmm. from the bombing and stuff. So. True. I used to live down here in the bar. So yeah. So I understand. Um, how old do you, I mean, what is Brie like? What What is, other than. What do you know about their marriage other than the fact that you see cop cars over there quite often? Um, I only talked to, to Colin. Okay. Uh, I never really spoke to Bree much until tonight. Um, as far as I, whenever I saw him with the kids, and his kids were not perfect, they were typical, you know, I, I think they're two and four, okay. but they were, you know, they're always running around and, you know, being that age and right. you know but I never heard him I, I never seen him like spank him I never seen him yell at him I heard him you know like I, I've told you twice not to do that if you do it again you're gonna have to go in the house typical parent stuff yeah okay. that's what I, I never heard him as never far as them together you never saw Bree and Colin okay. outside no. you'll see one you see the other you never see both gotcha did you ever hear them fight from inside the residence okay did you ever hear about them fighting Okay. Yeah. Um, We've sure. been to the door several times, but the, the, sure. the kids aren't making so much noise you can't hear anything except they're throwing balls against the wall and gotcha. you know, running around screaming. Um, have you ever seen any marks, scratches, or bruises on either one of them? That would okay. Um, Whatever happened, it was inside the walls and I never heard it. Sure. Um, but like I said, we you'll see one of them outside. You never see both of them outside at the same time. Um, I never see them go anywhere together. I know they do sometimes, but. Um, she will only talk to me, he doesn't talk to her. He would talk to her and never talks to me, so it's... Uh, I, I, right. I I've never been around about. a couple that was like that. Right, it's almost like they're not... They don't act like they're together. Right. Gotcha. Um, we, we don't want any... Other than talking about fence or plants, we really haven't really any conversations with them. And that was one of the things we had gone over last week, week before, and we had said, you know, we're supposed to get uh, six palm trees delivered, and they're going to use the back, you know, lot back here mm -hmm. and so you know they may run over like a corner of your lot is that okay and they were like yeah and then Bree was worried that you know it would mess up the grass so we said that you know we'd put down you know like wood or something mm -hmm. so that the, their grass wouldn't get but even with that it was we never spoke to both of them we spoke right. to him and then he said later hey my wife said but we've never seen them together okay acting like a family or acting like a couple Okay. Him with the kids, her with the kids, never all of them with the kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, I think that that's it. Um, okay. um, do you guys swear and affirm that your statement given to me is true and correct the best of your knowledge? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, things are going to be a little hectic out there for, for several hours, so I'm just not worried about it. Just hold tight, okay? So. Oh, question you. for you. Absolutely. All right. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Um, so we're here, can you kind of tell me what happened tonight and how everything came about, why we're here? Yeah, so I'll start. So, um, police were over here 
three cars earlier today. I don't know what time. Oh, it was much earlier today. Um, and then they left. Everybody was, I guess, stayed at the house next door. Uh, I left about 4.30, 4.45 went to Publix. Um, next door neighbor, Colin, was outside staying by his truck holding his daughter. She was screaming, crying. Um, I came back from Publix about 30 minutes later, still in the driveway. Daughter's still crying hysterically. He's still standing in the driveway. His wife was sitting on the front steps. I came inside. Um, my wife came home 5.15 or sometime around then. Mm -hmm. And then um, she took the cat outside and she said, there's another police car out there. Well, there's another police car back. Again, a single police car across the street from next door neighbor. Lights are on. Uh, they talked to um, Colin again. I don't know what's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. And then they left. This is probably 5.30, 5.45, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. um, I guess everybody went inside and then uh, we had dinner, we were watching TV, and then around 6.30, I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can, glass, front door's glass, you can see through it. I'm watching TV, and I look over, and I see uh, Bree from next door, she's sitting on the steps. Her daughter, both her daughters are sitting on the steps, and so that's kind of weird. She, you probably need to go and talk to them. She went and put some shoes on or something. She went up and talked to them, and then... Uh, so, um, Colin and Colleen, they were down here, their son was standing outside, um, and then she came inside and said, look, you need to get your shoes on, you need to come out here and help. So I went out there, he said, she said, you need to go next door. Uh, I stopped on the driveway, Colin and Colleen, the neighbors were down here, had already gone in, they came back out, I said, look, you don't need to go in there. Okay. So. They were outside having a conversation. I didn't hear any part of that because I wasn't here. And as soon as I walked out, I was in front of the house, but I never went in. So I didn't did y'all hear, any hear anything? She did. I didn't. Okay. Um, I mean, we didn't hear the shooting because in Navarre, you know, you have the bombings with mm -hmm. everything going on with the military. So you're used to hearing that. And they're doing construction. There's dump trucks and loud bangs all the time. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we really didn't hear anything. Um, when he told me, you know, when we saw the kids and everybody out, um, and, I went outside. To and to clarify, they were sitting on our front steps. That's why I saw them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I walked out, the oldest daughter was crying hysterically. And so I was giving her a hug and trying to just comfort her. And I... I, she said or what I heard was that um, her stepmom had shot her dad three times okay. and then uh, Bree looked at me and she told me to please make sure that her children was taken care of and that she had shot her husband three times and she was like he, he's dead he's, he's dead and she was I mean as pale as a ghost and e extremely shaken up mm -hmm. and very upset and that's when I came in and told him it's like get your shoes on we I need help come out here and, and come see what's going on okay um, at any point in time did either y'all talk on the phone with 911 or anything like mm -hmm. that yeah. okay um, it was my understanding that Colin and Colleen's son that's two houses down that mm -hmm. he was the one who um, called the police so Colin or called 911 and Colleen are two houses that, down that's a separate Colin yep mm -hmm. okay yep. yeah that's why I was like there's two there's houses down there, there's a call in there, yeah. okay okay um, is there anything else reference tonight that you guys are just now remembering just didn't remember earlier or anything like that no um mm -hmm. Uh, we told the other officer, he, he asked what their general demeanor was on a regular basis. I never talked to him except once. So the wife would talk to me, the husband would talk to her, mm -hmm. but never saw them outside together, ever. Mm -hmm. Husband would be out with the kids, wife would be out with the kids, but never saw them together. Never saw them. Okay. They may have gone somewhere together. I've never seen them get a vehicle together, and I've never seen them together outside gotcha. or anywhere else. So I, and, I mean, and I talked to him 
as far as I would see him as far as a neighbor. And um, the kids were usually out with him. He always seemed to be a good dad. He was always, you know, playing with them, outside with them. I never seen him really raise his voice at them or anything like mm -hmm. that. They were normal. I think they were about two and four, but I'm not really sure of their age. Okay. But they were normal kids, you know, running, playing, being rambunctious, just normal kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you'd hear him say, you know, like, I've told you twice. If you do it again, you'll go in the house. <laughs> But I never, you know, that was, you know, to me, it's typical parenting, just being a good parent. Mm -hmm. But I never seen anything Nothing other than that, like, like, really pops out mm -hmm. crazy wild. Right. Okay. No. The police have been here. Today was the fourth time and the fifth time in four months since we moved in here. Four months? Okay. So. I haven't looked up the history. Yeah, today anything. was the fourth time and then the fifth time. Okay. But they've been here. Never knew what happened, but there was always, I mean, it looks like domestic violence only because there's three cars every single time or more. Okay. And then mm -hmm. they never took anybody away. So I have no idea. All I know is it's, it's happened quite a bit. Okay. Beyond that, I've never seen them fighting or with each other or yelling. It, whatever happened, it was behind closed doors. Okay. And just get y'all to raise your right hand, swear and affirm everything that you told me tonight is true to the best of your knowledge and that you're not lying. I do. I do. All right. 